Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from JazzleDazzleCrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I work in Scotland. And today I have come on to do um, something completely different to what I usually do. I, um, I do a day job. I'm my grandma. I've got two adult children. I've got four grandchildren. I've got um, siblings. I've got nieces and nephews. So lots of family stuff um, going on in my life. Mum getting older. Um, different things going on in my life. Other relatives as well needing a bit more extra attention. And also I have my stamping up business which I absolutely adore it's my happy place but um, and I love doing the crafting part and I love doing videos to share with everybody I'm totally a stationary addict this is a completely different video it's not re it's sort of a stamping one it's not really a crafting one it's um, just to share with you a little bit about me and my lack of organisation and my complete muddly mess that I keep getting myself in. So uh, my desk gets a muddly mess, my crafting stuff gets into a muddly mess uh, and sometimes my organisation of where I need to be and what I'm doing um, gets into a muddly mess. So I'm totally a stationary addict. I have been since I was a little girl and someone bought me a post office set and um, I liked that and I was interested in writing and drawing to a certain extent as well but I've always liked nice paper, nice colours and I've always had enjoyed them and <laughs> but be Lately, what I've been doing is buying stationery but not really using it properly. I've I've got this amazing Erin Condren planner. I have other planners um, equally as expensive, not used quite so much. But you know, what goes around comes around. Sometimes you be going phases of things. But at the moment, big in my life is my this Erin Condren. It's a vertical planner, which actually suits me better because I actually see a day in a morning, an afternoon and an evening and that's the way I kind of think of my day and what, it's, you know it's spoken by lunch and tea so that um, I can think right well I can do that in the morning, I can do that in an afternoon, I can do that in an evening. So but what I haven't done <laughs> I think I don't think I did use it much in September. Look September's completely little bits August more but I haven't been using it a great deal. I write things in. I write things in, I plan what I'm going to do and then half the time I forget to do them or I forget to look back at my planners. I'm going to start a habit of maybe having this one open in and around on my desk maybe towards the back there. So it was a friend that suggested that. In fact one of the ladies in my team she says she has her planner open on the week that we're in so but anyway so I thought it's October it's autumn it's a favorite time I have all these gorgeous stamps why don't I decorate a little bit October with some autumn colors and some of my lovely leaf stamps I, I just adore autumn really so I'm going to play with rooted in nature and I've got out four colours of ink here. I've got Merry Merlot, Crumb Cake, Pumpkin Pie and Cajun Craze. And I've pulled out three pens. This is a lovely palette actually. I really like this. So we've again Merry Merlot, boom, 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 Pumpkin Pie and Cajun Craze. And just for the record I could get out my Crumb Cake. Pen. So there we've got all four colours in pen and in ink. Whoops. So I'm going to play in them. But before I do I play decorating this, I wanted to show you this. This is completely cutesy. This is another little 
um, tiny traveller's notebook. What do you think? Look at it in comparison to the size of your pen, etc. So I bought this from a lovely lady who lives quite locally to me and she runs a company called Paper, Pen and Plan and she's called Claire. So if you like this so cute little um, leather bound tra uh, sorry, traveller's notebook, it's the tiniest little thing ever. Look for Paper, Pen and Plan. In fact, I'll put a link to her below here. So uh, watch out for that. But I'm just going to let you see the little things. I've been really enjoying playing in it. And I probably will do another wee spread going, moving on from this. But So I've been using my Butterfly Wishes to decorate the front of it. I, I've not, I mean, obviously I've just started. And then I've been using, um, what's this one called? Nature's Beauty. Now this stamp set is fantastic and I did a bit of sponging and masking and got this little spread and it's so cute from that. And then the rabbit looks enormous compared to the moon. <laughs> it's like um, a little bit of perspective going on there. And a little bit of paper. Some of our designer series paper with some stamping. So I kind of made this sort of a what would you call it? A motivating type of little journal. So when I find something that, you know, you're amazing and that's a fact. We all, we're all amazing. So hey, I amaze myself sometimes. You are loved completely. Sometimes we do need reminded. And I've, you know, I have used varied vases for this, but I can't remember where that, oh, that one comes from Strong and Beautiful, I think pretty sure it does. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Pretty sure it does. Yes. Strong and beautiful. And then, oh, of course I did that one upside down, but that's good because that's me. Everything rounded on me. This one with my absolute, one of my absolute favourite stamp sets, Very First Eye, but I combined that with Painted Harvest. So I've done a wee bit of sunflower here. Yeah, just try out different combinations. This, I mean, it's definitely for me to practice my stamping in. And a bit of affirmation. She believed she could, and so she did. And my goal at the moment is to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So, um, if you haven't, if you're watching, and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Help me to get to a thousand, and then I'll be able to do this sort of thing as a live video, and you can help me with my monthly plans. Here we go. More from this one's from Colorful Seasons. Again, I've used a wee, the moon in here and a bit of masking, and. This is a stamp set that's only available to demonstrators. Love it, love it, share it. So if you want to have that stamp set, you need to sign up with me, but give me get in touch and I'll tell you how. And this one from Winter Trees and our Dashing Deer set. Isn't that gorgeous? So just let you see that, do you know our stamping up stuff? It's not just for cards. It's not just for boxes and tags. We can use it everywhere in your notebooks, in your planners, in your diary. Soaring free. I've cut this from one of the cards in the Sailing Home um, Memories and More set. And the stamps are from the Sailing Home. The sun, I think, is from... Where's my sun from? High Tide. High Tide, the sun's from. Oops, I think that's all I've got in there t just now, but I will add more. Do you not think that is so cute? I know a lot of you watching are into planners and things, but this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> it's got, it came with a wee, um, what do you call it, card thing to make it into a wee keyring type of thing. Just thought I'd share that with you. As I say, paper, pen and plan. Uh, Claire also does lots of um, 
other types of traveller notebooks and planners and, and lots of stickers and ephemera and everything. She has an Etsy shop. So have a look over at Paper Pen and Plan. I will, um, I will pop a link to her business Facebook page here and then you can um, you can communicate with her as well if there's anything that you would like to, you would like to buy Let's have a look to see if she's got it okay anyway thanks for that we'll pop that aside so back to October and what, how I'm going to motivate motivate myself motivate myself to um, plan get my plans down on paper and then carry them out. I do write lists quite often for myself and I'll, I do do to-do lists. Problem is, I don't always look back on them. Anyone else a bit like that? Once I've written it down, that's uh, dumped out of my head. Anyway, let's get playing. I'm going to use my Scots Pine. And as we know that, you know, that one doesn't lose its leaves. So I'm actually going to bring in another colour. I think I'm going to bring in Mossy Meadow, I think. Well, it's nothing wrong with that. Um, let's see if we've got a block. I did go in, those of you who were what who watched my other video. Well, this will sound a bit crazy because this will probably come out before it does, but anyway. So I did say in a, I had a big box of stamps that needed washed. Well, look, they're all washed. They're just not all put away yet, but I will do that in a wee while getting them clean with the first bit. Now I need a scrap piece of paper as well because I'm going to do some stamping off. So obviously I, I although I want to put some colour in here I also want to be able to um, want to be able to see through it as well. So I'm going to put this big pink tree bit off a little bit here the bottom and I've stamped it off once and twice there um, do I need more more pine trees? Oh, this reminds me of Scots pine trees like just to have a bit of that there but I, the whole thing's going to be leaves and stuff so hmm, I don't know Maybe we'll put this other big tree. This is one that's going to lose its leaves. It's going to go up here, I think. And this is the one that's shedding its leaves everywhere. Um, I need a bigger block, though. Doesn't matter which blocks I put out on my desk. I always decide to stamp with something that needs bigger. Okay. No. What we're going to do here, I'm going to have to I'm putting the trunk on with crumb cake and just some of the branches that go in and then I'm just going to use the pens and do some blobs. I think maybe maybe I need my Mary Merlot because maybe this tree's just starting to turn so do I have a me I've got all my pens here but pull it. Is this Mossy Meadow? Not Mary Merlot. Mossy Meadow. So I might have already done a video showing you something along these lines. I think I've maybe used the sponge dauber so we'll have a couple of bits of green still in there and then we've got the, the leaves all turning I love this time of year when the leaves are turning is anyone else like me do you love autumn I like autumn I like the um, bit more of that there Let's see. I love the winds and the cooler temperatures. Some days. Don't like the rain that often comes in the UK. 
but I love all the colours. I don't know what else I've got. I don't know what colours I've got in here already. Maybe should have put um should have stamped in a base colour or could I spray that do you think? What do you think? A bit more green because it's just in the spaces maybe. What would happen if I sprayed this with a bit of water, missed it a little bit? Do you think that might work? Here I am, I'm just playing and you're watching me play. Let's have a wee drink of water. So, I think I'll get out a protector. And, right, what do you think? I don't think, would alcohol do any harm to... I won't do any harm to my stamp, so let's just have a go. I'm sure it won't, but well, if it does, I'll have to buy a new one. I'm pretty sure alcohol just cleans things. It won't do any harm to the rubber. So we're just going to let that run a wee bit. I decided to use the alcohol one because it was close to me because I was doing something with alcohol earlier this week. I think most of you will have seen it. And this tree is going to go up here. Because this part of the week, the month is over anyway, so if this is too dark, it won't really matter. The rest of it is going to get done in a more faded way. Really, I'm just playing. I quite like that. Should have put some protection underneath. Of course, it bleeds through to the other side. Did Janice remember that? No, she never. Because it's alcohol, Janice. If you choose water, that wouldn't have happened, would it? But actually, I, I rather like that. And this part of the month is gone anyway, so I'll pop, I'll put some paper or something on there. I like it. Right, so I won't use alcohol again because of the bleed through on my journal unless I, I know that I'm going to decorate the page behind me. So that I, I, I do like it. I do like it. It's, got, it's a lovely effect. But now I'm just going to play with leaves. And we have these skeleton leaves. We've got oh, we've got all sorts of leaves here. So let's get them out. That one. These ones. This is a great October. I can tell you. There's lots of leaves. Let's close that off. There's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just playing, seriously. Okay, so. And one of the good things I know here is I'm needing to replace my pumpkin pie. It's getting quite dry, but that's going to be perfect for this because I don't want dark colours. I want to be able to see through. So let's see how we go. Let's just check. Yeah, that's quite faint. So we're just gonna randomly have leaves falling down my page. Probably not be able to write anything in this by the time I'm finished because I'm just playing. Just my happy wee place. I hope it gives somebody else pleasure to play. I need a smaller block. Where's the blocks? The thing with it, getting a smaller block out it means I can get in closer to the spine. That's the only thing with the Erin Condren, although it is absolutely lovely to work with, you have got this big spine in the way. So um, let's choose a different colour. Let's go with Cajun Craze this time. It's a fabulous autumn colour, isn't it? How dark. 
harsh is this? We'll, make, we'll keep this for off. So. Gosh, a lot in there. Wow. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, let's go for ten then. Yep, I can still see ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Wow. <laughs> this fab. So let's do something similar over here then with this. I definitely don't want the first impression. So let's do it onto here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12. Wow! <laughs> that will do. 12 will do fine. I'm just giving that a wipe off so I don't get it on my hands. Now, what other wee leaves have we got? Another little one. I'm going for my. See if I can find my even smaller block because then I can get in closer here. Ooh, will it fit on there? Not really. Sort of a. Do you know what? I think I'm going to go with that because I can get into smaller spaces. I think it'll do. Right, what other colours did we get out? Let's see. Just because I got it out doesn't mean I'll actually use it. Oh, Mary Merlot, that's a good one. Now I know this is quite juicy, so let's get the scrap paper over. Right, I'll go with that one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can still see it even there. We'll do that once more. So, Mary Merlo, excuse my arm across. Stamp off on your scrap. Then, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, that's fab, isn't it? Gosh, one, some on this plate, page, page, page. Who else still likes that childhood game of scrunching through the leaves? I even still love that word scrunch. I always like to find a pile of leaves that I can run through or play through or We're getting an interesting pile of leaves here, aren't we? Right now, I think we will have some that still have a bit of green in them. So I'm going to go for the the small skeleton leaf, and I'm going to get the mossy meadow. These colours go so well together. First one off, I think. Bring that in. Just so that 
you can see better what I'm doing here. I was doing the first one off just so that I'm still going to be able to write on this pile of leaves that I've got here. Right, that one might be okay to do up there. Well, I think I've got some autumn leaves on here. What do you think? Got another bit of green in. I'm liking it, but I'm going to need quite a dark pen to write on this. So I'm actually going to get my, I think I'm going to get my Blackberry Bliss pen and see if that will show up. So. What was happening in October? I know this is so. Where are we? This is Sunday the 13th that I'm filming this. So today, today I've been doing filming. I will have to, obviously, if you see I've got bleed through here, so we'll have to do something over there to decorate that. These days are past. As they say, <laughs> these days are gone now and in the past they must remain. Right, so I forgot to put a bit of a motive. I quite like to put something motivational in and this sentiment from this stamp set is extremely motivational so let's maybe if we do it in a strong colour and pop it up here so what, which one will we go with the Mary Merlot I think Where will we put it? Will we put it on today? Because today is gone. Well, nearly gone. Today's been about relaxing and filming. Be strong, be happy, be you. Put it in here as well. There we go. Remind myself that will be the 3rd of November, which is not in this month, so we'll, um, we'll deal with that. Okay, so we've got 31 days in October. Today's the 13th, so we've still got a few days left. So I know on Tuesday evening I have a beginner's class. And then on Wednesday morning, yep, Wednesday morning I am making, I'm doing a class on candles. We're doing candles for craft fairs and we're going to be um, decorating with stamping. So stamping on, sort of stamping on candles. So that's at 10 o'clock on Saturday, Wednesday morning. This is at 7pm. So if you are watching this and you live locally, that's 10am. That's a definite class. And I've got a class... 10 a.m. the next Wednesday morning. I've got one at 10 and one at 1. So if you, this one, that one is more like a, a workshop where I just put things out and you come along and play with them and get involved. And the 10 o'clock one, um, not sure what we're going to be doing on the 10 o'clock one where 
I haven't actually decided. This one is a introduction to card making, so it's going to be simple stamping. I'll, I'll pop that in later. What else is happening? Next Saturday at 10.30 a.m. We have Saturday Stampers. Again, not sure what we're doing, looking for requests, so if you can request. And then seven, a 27th, Sunday the 27th at 11 a.m. We have Sunday Stampers. These are two hour classes and usually I will do what is requested by the people that are coming if you want to book in and um, just give me a shout and I'll tell you how that all works. Just wanted to make sure these special classes as I say these are um, yeah, I'm just not sure. Definitely candles on Wednesday morning. The rest can be by special request. It can be stamping, can be box making, it can be treat making, like making treats or things to sell at craft fairs. A lot of my ladies that come to class uh, do things for, they do craft fairs and things. So we'd be making different things, boxes, or it could be, um, you could be wanting to do some of the things that I've done with in my kit classes, my online class that you can buy on uh, online. Uh, I do a monthly um, class to go basically, which is a kit in a box that I can post out to you. If you're interested in that, you can uh, give me a shout. So at the moment, I've not put a lot of things in. There's lots more planned, but um, and also um, I can do uh, special classes one-to-one. -one. I, I never work with more fee than four people at a time anyway, so it's they're usually, you know, quite uh, small classes so that you get um, individual attention. But, you know, if you want to know about booking into any of these classes, just get, get, send me a message and I'll let you know what's happening. Okay, so that's looking a bit better, isn't it? It's it's, a, it's me ready for the rest of October. I will decorate the weeks. I am going to certainly cover this over and I will kind of do a bit of decorating. But I'm ready to, I'm going to start something for this week coming. So as you know, I've got a class on Tuesday night. I've got a class on Wednesday morning and I've got a class on Saturday morning. So I now need to go and plan them properly. Um, so just write in Tuesday evening begin a class you would just write that 7 p.m. and then as it was is it Wednesday at 10 I've got one yes I have got got a 10 o'clock with so we've got class at 10 and then on Saturday we've got class at 10.30. So there's a couple of ladies already booked into this but there's still seats spare. So that that's how this week is and obviously I still have my normal week to work. So that that is how and I think we'll have this little reminder for this week. In, in amongst all this I've got meals to cook, I've got to try and keep fit and healthy and all that stuff but do you know what? Be strong, be happy, be you. So maybe I'll just... I never use this leaf. Um, so we'll maybe use a bit of this one and we're going with a bit of Merry Merlot for this week. A nice, do you know what, I do like a glass of wine so a wee Merry Merlot, that wouldn't be too terrible would it? So 
just going to this is a lovely stamp I make some lovely garlands with that I'm going to do a bit more there Thicker and bushier. Ho oh, ho. Right, enough just now. Let's let's um, let you go. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to share it with everyone my crafty videos. Please subscribe if you don't already subscribe and help me get to that thousand please. If you've got, I, I plan to do a bit more using my planner so I'll maybe, you know, I certainly, <laughs> this does look like a big pile of leaves, doesn't it? Do you want to get in there and scrunch amongst them? I'm loving it. it. It's, do you know, it's not about what looks artistic or whatever, do you know all that? It's just about something that pleases me and right now that pleases me. I've relaxed a wee bit, I've just played with these gorgeous stamps and do you know what? I need to use these stamps more in my card making. They're absolutely gorgeous. Maybe a leafy one sheet wonder again pretty soon. What do you think? I'll maybe have a go soon. But anyway, thank you. See you soon.